Hello everyone, my name is Fred Bowman. I'm a senior application engineer at NextGen Solutions. We're an Autodesk reseller. We sell and support all sorts of Autodesk products, including Vault and Inventor, which is where I specialize. And today I'm gonna to use this video to go over how to set up a revision table in Vault so that the properties from Vault and Inventor are communicating back and forth and filling out each other. So there's a few things you have to do as an administrator to make sure everything is set up and running correctly. The first thing is we need to make sure your job processor is going to be set up and working. So if we go to Tools, Administrations, Global Settings, and then underneath the Integrations tab, we have to make sure the job server is checked. Keep in mind you need to have the administrator role in order to do this. If that is checked, then we have to make sure the job processor is set up to run. So the job processor, depending on your company, might be on everyone's machine, it might be on one specific machine. Regardless, if you find it, you can open it, go to the Administrations tab, and look at Job Types. There's a lot of different jobs that this thing can run. The one we're interested in today is the Sync Properties one listed right here. Typically, it's checked by default, but if you want to play it safe and check, that's how you would do so. Once those things are done, now we can actually start working on configuring the revision table to our liking. We go to the Tools tab, we go to Administration, and we're going to go to Vault Settings. Keep in mind, this is Vault Settings, not Global Settings. So this is specific for the vault you're in. If you're using multiple vaults, you're going to need to log into each vault. You want to be using this and enable it and configure for that vault. Once there, we're going to go to the Behaviors tab. And underneath the Properties section, we'll find Revision Table. By default, this is unchecked. We're going to go ahead and check it. And this is how it looks the first time you're going to look, use it. If you start making changes to these, adding columns, moving the columns, or changing the order, and you don't like what you're doing when you start back from scratch, there's a little icon right here. It's called Load Suggested Settings. It will bring you back to where you are. So if you were accidentally were to delete zone, and maybe you move the revision to the, a different row and you wanted to start over, you can press that. It'll give you a little message. You hit yes to that, and it'll put you back to what it thinks should be the best. All right. I'm going to be making a couple of changes to this because this is not the order I like to do. Keep in mind, if you're going to be changing the order, adding or subtracting rows, uh, you are also going to have to update the styles library within Inventor. I'll be covering that in a later video. First things first, I'm going to change the date here. Instead of doing the checked in date, I'm going to use the date modified. Uh, you guys can go ahead and put in here whatever you think will work best for your company. Description, I'm going to tie a description in here with the iProperties description, which I already have tied in with the vault. So those are working together. I'm not going to use zone, so I'm going to go ahead and remove that. And I'm going to add a new area on here. I'm going to call it ECO. And I'm going to have that one driven by change order. So if I'm using the ECO process inside of Vault, this is going to say true. It's going to mark that it has been done that way. I'm also going to change the order. I'm going to do a right click on that, say move down. I want to have the ECO listed there. And the column over here on the right hand side, if the box is checked, it's only going to display the released only information. If the box is unchecked, it's going to display the, the information to the latest version of the file. I like having these off because when I have moved the file back to work in progress, I'd like to see that version of the file updated to see what we're at, not just when it's been released. The other setting that I personally like having checked is I'm going to update the latest revision only. Uh, I'm putting this one in there because I added this ECO and I don't want it to change the older version. I only want it to change the latest. So you guys can configure this however works best for your company. Go ahead, hit OK, hit close there. And I'm going to go over an example of this. So I have a new drawing here. It is not even part of the vault yet. So I'm going to go to the Annotate tab. Underneath the table panel, there is a rev vault revision. If it says revision, just hit the drop down arrow. Make sure you click vault revision. 
and then you can click and drop the table in there. You notice it already has the fields that I inputted in there. I am going to go ahead and change the column sizes around because I want to want more room for my description. Then I'm going to do files, I properties, project. Like I said, I had my description, I property tied in there, and this is tied in with the vaults. So I can change it in the vaults or I can change it in here. Either way, they are connected. So changing in one spot will change all the other locations. It's a two way street. Okay, with that done, we'll see that that's been inputted. And we're going to go ahead and check that in. Now, I know you guys probably have noticed that the other bars have not filled in yet, but we haven't even tied this to the vault yet. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to go ahead and move this. I'm going to change the state to released. Once we do that, I'm going to go back to the vault client so you can see what's going on. I'm just going to open up tools, job queue. We can see that in the job queue, it's already trying to synchronize those properties. Now the job processor checks every 10 minutes to see if there's anything in there. I'm just gonna pause it and resume it. So it immediately picks up, sees that something's there, and it's gonna go ahead and synchronize the properties and then create whatever other files I have it doing. In this case, it's creating a DXF and a PDF. With that done, I can see the job has been completed. I'll go back to Inventor. I refresh our tab over here. We'll see that there are new edits available. So if I right click and refresh the file, we'll see that that information was inputted. If we were gonna make new changes to the file, we would go ahead and change the state, move it back to work in progress. and I would check out the file. Hit OK. Immediately it's gonna ask if I wanna update the properties. I'm gonna say yes, because I, I want the properties to update to see the new version. And I can see revision B has already been automatically added for me up there. In this situation, I should have left more room for the date column. That's something that you guys can customize inside the style manager. With that, that concludes my demonstration of how to set up the revision table within Inventor and uh, use Vault to drive the components of it. I hope this helps, and if you guys have any questions or anything, please feel free to reach out.